Okay, so we're starting a new unit here. Uh, Pearson 10, one fractions as multiples of unit fractions. And we're using models just to kind of get you to visualize what this looks like because we're moving into, as you might have guessed, multiplying fractions. So this is one way to visualize that to kind of make it a little bit easier. Now you can see in the top here in the example, it shows you for this one, five fourths. We have five fourths, five fourths is five one fourth parts, right? So here's our whole. It's divided into fourths. We have an extra one on, on the outside because our numerator, the five, is bigger than our denominator. The denominator tells us how many parts there are in that whole, okay? Which means that one also equals four fourths. So one equals four fourths, five fourths is five one fourth parts, which would also mean that five times one fourth equals, if you can guess it here, five-fourths. We're keeping that uh, denominator the same. Okay, so uh, again, we're, we're using a, a Google Drawings here, and I'm going to do it the way that you guys would do it. So let's draw out, let's draw out a picture here. Let's go to our shapes. Let's get a rectangle, and let's work on this one here. Draw a picture to, uh, to explain why three-fifths equals three times one-fifth. Well, in this situation, we know w because of the uh, denominator that our whole is made of fifths, right? And we're talking about three fifths. So in this situation, we don't have an extra one left over. We're going to have only three of them. So let's draw out our shape right here. That's one hole. And then let's take a let's take a line right here. And let's draw those out. Okay. First, let's draw out what it would look like. if we had all the fifths in there. Now there are a couple ways that you can do this. You can draw all those lines or you can click on the line and you can copy it. You can also copy it by hitting Control C. Hitting Control V, you can paste another one down. We're gonna do it that way so that I can actually adjust it. And then you guys can all agree that this is better than my regular handwriting. Okay. So now we have it divided into fifths, right? They don't look perfect, but they are divided into fifths. Or it is divided into fifths. Okay. So now you've got this one whole divided into fifths. Each one of these is one fifth. Now, if you wanted to, you could also write a little text box at the bottom there that says that, right? You know that each one of these is one fifth, one fifth, and so on. Um, you are not required to do that, but this is what it looks like, right? Yep. We've got one fifths underneath each one of those. It's a little weird at the end there, but uh, there we go. Okay, so one fifth under each one of these here. Now, for this one, we're talking about we need this to be representative of three fifths, right? So if you take these, this shape right here again, draw a rectangle there. You can also fill that rectangle in with a different color to show that that's what you're using here. Once again, I'm actually going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it so it's a little bit easier here. You can draw separate ones. It's up to you how you do it. Uh, again, if you do want to copy things, all you have to do is click on it, um, hit Control C, or you can right click and hit Copy, like this right here, and do the same thing with paste. OK, so this shows us that 3 fifths equals 3 times 1 fifth. And there's your picture right there. You can draw that out. You could write it out a little bit further as well. Here's one way to do that. Then you would write three times one fifth equals one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth. So those are the same things. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking for right here. Okay, so for this next one, it says, write a multiplication equation to show each part of the following story. Mark's family ate seven-fourths chicken pot pies for dinner. 
There are seven people in Mark's family. Each family member ate one-fourth of the pie. Okay, so once again, we're looking at another situation where we have what we would call an improper fraction. Our numerator is greater than our denominator. But the denominator is important, right, because it tells us how much the whole is. And the whole is going to be made of fourths, right? So... Now, this is where this gets kind of interesting, right? Mark's family ate seven fourths or seven quarters of a chicken pot pie, each chicken pot pie for dinner. Okay. Now, it looks to me like what they're trying to tell us here is that each member ate one quarter of a pie. Okay. But this is where things get a little bit crazy, right? So let's start writing this out. This one is just a text box. So all you have to do is click inside it. And they're just talking about equations, so you don't have to draw this one out. We're going to just write it out. Okay, so 7 fourths or 7 quarters equals 7 times 1 fourth, right? Or 7 times 1 fourth equals seven fourths that's all you have to do here what's important here is that you need to look at what they're asking you for what they're asking you for is to write a multiplication equation right so that's what the question is write a multiplication equation so that's all you have to do here now if it helps you to draw them out please do but this one is just asking for the equation so that's what that would look like right here now, over with these problems, I left you some space underneath so that you could work them out here uh, if you choose to do so. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at those. So for this one, two-thirds equals... Now, what if we drew this one out? What happens? Let's take a rectangle here. Let's draw it out. We know that our whole, our whole shape here is going to be divided into threes, correct? And we know that because the denominator is a three. So let's go ahead and do that this way. Let's draw in a few extra boxes. I'm going to color those boxes in a different color. Um, once again, I'm going to copy them and I'm going to paste them right next to each other. Okay, now these aren't big enough, right? You can tell that I didn't draw these uh, to the right scale. So let's change the shape of those a little bit here. There we go. That looks about right. So now you have two thirds, right? Which is the same as, I'm sure you guys have have this, have this by now, but it is the same as two times one third. Okay? Because you've got two thirds, which would be two of these right here. And that is the same as two times one third. Okay, so what about this one right here? 5 sixth equals 5 times 1 over what? Now, you already have a big hint here, right? You have a big hint here because you already know that our denominator is 6. And remember what I said right now, our denominators are not changing. So you have 5 of these. You've got 5 1 sixth. So all you have to do for this one is put in a 6. Okay, now 4 over 2. Now, here's where you're going to write in the full equation. 4 over 2. Now, it looks to me like what, uh, what we're doing here is, I'm sure you guys have already guessed this, our whole has two parts, right? So if we have 4 over 2, we are talking about 4 times 1 half or 1 over 2. And that's the same thing. So that means that 4 over 2 equals 4 times 1 over 2. And that's all you have to do for that one. Okay. And 7 is 3 fourths equals blank times 1 fourth. I think you guys are going to figure this out pretty quickly. We will draw one more shape to kind of show what that is. Uh, but I think you guys are going to get this pretty easily. Now, we know that our whole here is going to be made of four parts, right? Because our denominator has is a four at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and draw these out. There's one. Once again, I'm going to copy and paste it just to make it a little easier. And another one. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, these are not drawn exactly perfectly. You can always change the shape here a little bit to try to accommodate. But you guys are probably better at drawing them out than I am. Okay, so there we go. We have three parts filled in, right? Which means that three times one-fourth equals three-fourths. Okay, so these are pretty simple. When you start looking at some of these, like this one here, 3 6 equals 3 times 1 over blank, you already have a hint. You have your answer. It's right there in the problem because you already know the denominator, and we're not changing our denominators right now, that bottom number. So that's going to be 3 over 6 equals 3 times 1 sixth. Okay, so I'm going to leave the rest of these for uh, you guys to do, and then we will go over this further as, uh, as we progress through this unit. If you have questions, just let me know.